Hello, welcome back to Inazuma 11 Blizzard, episode 35 or 6, 36. And welcome to the episode that took me over an hour to edit and I hate with all of my fiery passion. あれがエリア学園の Wow, there is <laughs> even lightning! <laughs> lightning, folks! <laughs> dramatic Honestly, lightning! Honestly, God, dramatic lightning. I fucking love it. Or, you know, as uh, Phoenix Wright would say, Take that! Take that! <laughs> you fake coach! Well, we always knew she was a bad coach. We didn't know she was a fake coach. Well, now we know. Or oh coach. my god, he's just figuring out the connection with her last name. Well, let's remember, Endo primarily catches soccer balls with his head. <laughs> and not in the metaphorical sense, the very literal sense. Aki's idol. I like how Doman is still in this cutscene for some reason. And he... I don't think he's barely had any lines. No, he was in the last okay, cutscene, Now he too. says something. Good, good for you. He was in the last cutscene. I don't think he said anything. But uh, about that cutscene, Goenji had even more wrinkle lines than I remember. Yep. That was kind of <laughs> strange. He seems to get older every time we see him. I know, what is this? It's like playing soccer literally sucked the life force out of him? Well, remember, they've been trying to master the the Earth, so that might be the physical effects of the Earth. Zuh-uh. Zuh -uh. So, Haruna's... Haruna and Endo are leading the uh, We Believe in Our Coach. Well, they're also the two most oblivious people here for the most part. I mean, out of the ones actually displayed in this cutscene. Overall, I wouldn't even be able to take a guess at which one of the kids is the dumbest. <laughs> Maybe the one who incurs Haru's wrath the most often? Yeah, but see, he's, he's kind of intentionally dumb. Like, he knows he shouldn't do it, but he just does it anyways. Isn't of... that worse? Well, it's a cry for help. <laughs> it's a cry for, I want my grandpa. Yes, you're about to follow the bad guy's daughter into his evil lair, and he may or may not have guns. Good plan! And tanks, and jets, and missiles, and possibly nuclear weapons. If he could fit all of those inside, that would actually be a little bit impressive. I don't think the UFO is quite that huge. It looked pretty damn huge for me. <laughs> what do you know about geometry and UFO structure? I've watched old movies about alien invasions and giant monsters. I'm just saying, I'm not sure, you know, I watch Godzilla movies is something you should put on your qualifications list. Well, let me put it this way. <laughs> really? What does Godzilla have to do with aliens invading on spaceships? It's a method to keep aliens from invading on spaceships. You make a Godzilla, it eats them, you win. Have you seen Independence Day? 
then that's when nuclear weapons get involved, and then you fly. Well, that crazy nuclear retired weapon soldier didn't work. died for <laughs> your sins. Nuclear weapons did not work. <laughs> An independence day. Well, no, they had to get it inside and then blew it up. Yeah, but you had to get past the shield first. But they were smart enough- never mind. This conversation. They weren't getting... smart, they had Jeff Goldblum. That doesn't quite count as smart. <laughs> you get that is my motherfucking T-Rex. You have to remember, Jeff Goldblum gets eaten by a motherfucking T-Rex. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. He got stepped on by a motherfucking T-Rex. He did not get eaten. The lawyer got eaten. Jeff Goldblum survives to the sequel. I don't remember that. Maybe that's because Jurassic Park horrifies me. And T-Rex is my homeboy. <laughs> oh, motherfucking T-Rex. Every time I look at a totally off- well, somewhat related. Every time I look at fucking Kiram from Pokemon Black and White, I just see its little arms and I'm like, I'm sorry, I can't take you seriously now. <laughs> every time they're like, oh, no- Oh, you... Stashman! Hey, Stashman. But every time they're like, oh, oh now I... you have to fight Kiram, and I see its arms go, me, and I'm like, I'm sorry, Got what? a big head and then larfs. <laughs> and its wings are apparently tractor beams. What up? Yeah, that's natural. That is totally natural evolution to Pokemon. But anyways, we're talking about bullshit medical sucker. Not sort totally of. unrelated. <laughs> not, yeah, not totally unrelated, <laughs> as we all are aware. So this is just going to be a lot of running around all quarters that all look the same but might have a different color tint to them. Which I think is the only way you can tell where the fuck you are. Which is, you know, great. Uh, that's exactly what we needed as a final dungeon. A bunch of quarters that all looked the same. Oh, joy freaking rapture. And like the same three encounters over and over again. Christ. That's really cool. This is probably- I don't know. I, I probably could, shouldn't be the judge of how- which was more painful. Play, she playing through this part, or you editing it? I would like- I probably should say you editing it. Well, I made the mistake of trying to edit it while I was actually awake and sober, and I have difficulties editing when I'm consciously aware of what I'm doing. <laughs> Aww. Maybe. Somebody get that kid- give a- give that kid a hug. Somebody get that kid to social services. And a hug pillow. And a hug pillow. This place has really weird music. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure how I feel about it. It's kind of like... I don't really know how to describe it. But uh, here's all the people we have. You might notice a certain blonde. Yeah, that's Yeah, I was mentioning him in the last uh, last episode. We have it. These are all of my people that I tried to get in order to get these deer rangers for you, everybody. Look at all those people. <laughs> could be way more. You didn't hit the cap. Therefore, you could have done I more. I don't want to hit the cap. <laughs> I don't want that many people! Look, it's only when you have so many people that you have to organize them by which which field they take, and alphabetically do you have too many people. Mm. At least have, the music isn't terrible. I have brunette, blonde, and double green hair. Oh, and by the way, I should mention, since we're not including the top screen, for this dungeon, and Fuji Forest might have been the same, I didn't take that good of a look, uh, they don't actually give you the map on the top screen. You just have a small circle of vision around you as you're wandering around this place. Just in the hopes that you might get a little bit more lost. Great job, Gabe. Dick move. Uh, the map... There was something of a map, but... No, literally, it's just a circle of vision around you. That's all you can see. It doesn't hold the map when you pass through an area. Because I started trying to use that when I was editing to see where you were, and it wasn't working. That was pretty dead, you know, much of a dick move. Also, they have a shit ton of chests laying around, and some of them have these fucking card keys which we need to, uh, get through these electric doors. They're called pan cards. <laughs> well, what confuses me is she said she disabled security. Right there, that says that was security. She's not very good at doing what she says she's doing. And now the walls are a different color. That changes every single time you move forward. I should mention, though, that I, I kind of actually like those little doors that are shaped like stars. It makes me think we're playing Paper Mario. Oh, good times. Good times. That... Much better what than that those times. What was that, at the beginning? Possibly. Yes, I don't know. Low sax? No, 
voice? It doesn't sound completely synthesized. You'd think they'd go with the more alien sounding. Music, yeah, we, we basically just have like a. a it sounds drum. more like military. I mean, obviously, yeah. it's more of uh, Kira's thing. That is not a. That's like a. It's sax mixed with the guitar? Like, like. There's no such thing as a saxophone guitar, but I would pay money to see one. <laughs> Me too! Well, I shall be proved wrong if there is such a thing. Isn't he adorable? He has Rodeo Clown, God Hand, and Majin the Hand! Check that out! Yeah. And now I'm gonna give him Double Cyclone. I like Tamagoro. That doesn't mean he's a good keeper. Good goalkeeper. I just like him because he's tiny. And when you actually see him on the field, his eyes are just all white and black. And it's kind of like staring into the abyss. <laughs> also, his name is Egg. Yummy. I think it's supposed to mean that he's tiny. Also, I wanted to point out, hey, there's Runo. From the first game. Oh, right! I remember you. And I wanted to also show this off that, hey, Fubuki can do his job again. Woohoo! I know, he still looks stoned on his uh, character model. Yeah, besides Goenji, he's the only one who can, like, run through this area and just, and simply do just, like, a regular shot and still get it through the, the goal without someone trying to grab for it. Oh, he looks relatively stoned again. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. His character model looks really stoned. So he's still Fubuki. So he's still Fubuki. Well, I mean, he's always Fubuki because that's his last name. I mean, I mean, look at all the Fubuki this. we've come to know. He's still that Fubuki, but we don't know which Fubuki that is. No, we don't. Such is the continuing mystery of Fubuki. <laughs> just chilling in midair there for a second. Yeah, yep. he's just. I'm just gonna hang here. I'm just chilling. Yeah, the reason why we had two encounters back to back there is like I think I walked like five feet, like just a, a couple of steps, and then just a second encounter rate just popped up. Is yeah. That, is that right? Yeah. yeah, the 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 blend in, blend out trim, it was literally so fast, uh, the trim kind of skipped over those frames. <laughs> encounter rates! They're a major bitch in this area. So I've noticed. I mean, it, it, it could be worse, but, you know, it it could be a lot better, but now Why? We... I'm making sure everyone who main still need to level up some gets their turn. But you're only gaining like nine experience points from these battles. Some for some of them. And by the way, she remembered the camera can move. <laughs> for all the good it did her. I'm, play I'm playing around with like, hmm, can I get a better picture of these walls? Also, we have robots. Um... We Just have robots going around the halls. They, they kind will of, not attack you. They kind of remind me of the robots from Breath of Fire 3, but with the screen on them. Those were nasty. I mean, there was this one rare encounter in an abandoned hangar place with these robots. I think they gave the most experience out of any enemy in the game, but they were, like, nasty. You had to have a specific strategy to, like, have a hope of killing them. They're just standing there. I'm also finding a lot of uh, moves here, so... And also a robot that sells me stuff. They're merchants? Some are. Well, this one is- this one in particular is, and so I'm gonna buy some fine vegetables from him. Uh, v Viva- pickled, pickled vegetables. Viva la robot revolution. Yep. Cyborgs versus robots. I thought that was cyborgs versus ninjas, and ninjas versus dinosaurs. I thought it was ninjas versus pirates. That's what I thought. Oh, that's old Vogue. <laughs> More running through the alien spaceship. Yeah, at least the encounter rate seems to have calmed down. After after you get through a couple floors, it just seems to really scale back. Thank God. I guess because they're figuring you're kind of getting worn down at this point. If it's you like don't if, have 50 million people. It's like if you're trying to rush level ups here, it's you're not you're not doing it right. Well, the best way to get level ups is by playing full matches, mm -hmm. not by encounters because they only give you a little bit. And here's the recovery point, finally. He didn't have one until now, so that's cool. So, redoing my formation to make sure I have everyone I need for the next uh, match. I think you were mainly just putting Aphrodite in. Well, why wouldn't I have him in? 
And what I find funny is that we're navigating this dangerous place that could have guys with weapons and, you know, actual legit guns, and the adults are nowhere to be found. This is very true. Stash man, Dan, you can come with us. Yeah, they're, communi they're communicating with us all the way back from the entrance. They have sent us to our deaths. Oh no. Responsible, uh... Responsible. Yeah, really. It's like, oh yeah, we can trust Kira. Like a... <laughs> like we've been doing the rest of this game and how well that turned out? Just like how we could- you could trust Kageyama with a truck!